everybody. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. I'm so happy to see you. We are so happy to see you. Welcome back to the another Q&A session with Glamour for Eyes, where we talk about all things eyewear, eye care, eye differences, how to make your eyes glimmer and shimmer, all of those things. You probably know who I am, but if not, just in case, I am Marquita, your host with my co-host today, Hello. Ari, my baby, my oldest baby. Um, before we get into it, I want to say thank you to all of my subscribers for tuning in for another week of fun. I see you. I appreciate you. I love you. Um, and so welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for those newbies. Take a seat, come in. Thank you for coming. Subscribe, please. All right, hit that thumbs up. Make sure you turn on those notifications because we do not want you to miss anything fun and exciting that's about to drop. We have another guest, okay? We have a new guest who's also part of the family that we don't want to leave out. Everybody say hi to Yuri. Yuri, say hi to the people, the Glam fam. Okay, Yuri is here to help us with our topic for today. Okay, our topic today is going to be fun. It's probably something that might have been slightly debated over the years, and it is on can dogs see only in black and white? And how does their vision compare to our human vision? Okay, you might be surprised what the science says about it. So, I want you to grab your cutest furry animal. Okay, sit back. Not too far. We don't have a back, so we'll fall straight on our butts. But if you got a couch, sit back, lean back, and get ready for some fun with this Q&A session, okay? Stay tuned. So here's the big question. Do dogs only see in black and white? Well, contrary to popular belief, dogs are not completely colorblind. Um, scientists have discovered that dogs can see some colors, but not the full spectrum like humans can. Hmm. So here's how it works. Um, humans have three types of color detecting cells called cones in our eyes. I think we talked about that in the last video. Yeah. Yeah. Um, With the cats. Yeah. Y'all need to check out that video. <laughs> These okay. cones allow us to see the world in vibrant colors like red, blue, and green. Okay. Dogs, however, have two types of cones in their eyes. This means they they have um, dichromatic vision. Dichromatic vision. The di means two, just in, just in case you didn't know. Dichro, di. Yeah. So what does that mean for dogs, really? Well, they can see blue and yellow tones, but they can't see reds or greens like we do. Okay. Which I kind of figured. Yeah. Um, these colors appear as shades of gray or brown. Interesting. So, like... Imagine looking at the world in blotness, yeah. where like red roses look like dark brown. Or do you remember that? Who? I don't know if you remember that that movie. What movie? Um, is it called The Bookkeeper? I can't remember what the movie is called. It's called The Keeper or something like that. But know. basically, the movie started out as black, black and white, and. Um, the guy who would go to the bookkeeper and he would tell about the world and he would start seeing the world in more color. Yeah. I can't remember. I can't remember. The movie we have to find that book. We're going to tell you. No, no, no. The movie. The movie. Yeah. We'll tell you the name of the movie. We're going to remember what that is by the time we're done with this video. Mm -hmm. And then you guys got to check it out. I think it was called The Keeper. I think. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. We'll stick a pin in that. We'll put that up. So let's make this interactive. I'll show you a few objects and how they look to us versus how they would look to a dog. Are you ready? Get set, go. A blue ball. Now for us, we see the vibrant blue. Do you see the blue? Huh? Are you looking at her apple? Yeah, she's not paying attention. They see blue too. They still see blue. Great job. But you're still looking at her apple. Now, what about a red apple? See, she's not seeing the red apple. We're seeing the red apple. She is seeing this smells like food. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Actually, my apple's not even red. It's like a 
greenish brown. Yeah. That doesn't look like a very appetizing apple. I'm just saying. My favorite apple is green apples. Because of the sourness in them, super good. I'm getting distracted. So getting back on point now, what about this picture of green grass? So we see luscious grass, <laughs> green. This one right here sees tannish yellow. Isn't that crazy? 2,000 years later. You know, this is truly remarkable how dogs can see things in their own unique way. Um, and if you think this is fascinating, drop a comment down below and let me know what you think and pick an object and see if your dog, no, don't do that because it won't make a difference. They'll go to it if it smells like food, if it runs or never mind. So let's compare a few differences between dog vision and human vision. Number one, color perception. Like we said before, like Ari said before, humans have trichromatic vision, three cones, while dogs have dichromatic vision, only two cones. Then there's the point about them seeing at night, night vision. Our dogs are amazing. Dogs have more rod cells in their eyes than we do, which are responsible for being able to see in low light. That's why your dog can navigate your house in the dark way better than you can, unless they're scared of the dark, like our dog. Why are you running? Why are you running? Then we have motion detection. Dogs are excellent yeah. at detecting movements far away, um, and it's one of those reasons they're so good at playing fetch or spotting a sneaky squirrel or barking at the Amazon driver that drops off our packages. Yeah. They, she knows when I get a package before I do. Yeah. She a good girl. She even knows when somebody opens the car door. Yes. You won't be hearing nothing. She is a scaredy cat dog that is an alarm for sneaky travelers. You're a good girl. And lastly, we have visual sharpness. Um, humans have much sharper vision than dogs. So while we might see something clearly at 100 feet, a dog would need to be about 20 feet away to see the same thing. Mm. <clears throat> Their world is a bit blurrier than ours. So while we get the um, vibrant colors and all the um, sharp details, dogs yeah. can't get all that. They yes. have their own superpowers. Yes. As we do as well. Like um, they have better night vision and motion detection, um, which is pretty cool. That is the beauty about us being different. And that's why we love our little furry animals, don't we? Yes. Now, as we wrap up this eye opening discussion, no pun intended. Okay. I lied. Pun intended. I want to remind you to take care of your eyes. Our vision is such an important part of how we experience the world. So be sure to schedule regular eye exams with your optometrist, okay? Make sure they check uh, to if you, there's any changes with your eyes, your vision, if there's any blurriness, anything of that nature, check in with your doctor. That way you can continue to see the world. Glamorously. Yes. And if you need stylish frames, like what we have on, you know where to go. Glamour for eyes. We are here for you and we'll make sure that you continue to see the world glamorously as well. So in the wrap up, make sure please you subscribe, you like, you share this video. Please share your comments and share pictures of your cute furry animals. Even the ones that six and a half hours later. Oh, all your cute furry animals. Okay, don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up, share with your friends, and hit that notification bell, okay? And we look forward to hearing from you soon. So until next time, stay cute, stay glamorous, and keep seeing the world glamorously. See you later. Mm -hmm.